Hey everyone, scotch 182 here, and welcome to the Season 1 review of Young Justice. Firstly, I want to say this. Finally! I've never been so happy for a season to end, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. Um, for those that don't know, the series, well, if you're watching this, you didn't know. Young Justice took over a year to get the full first season out. Wow! I don't know a lot of cartoon shows that do that. <laughs> I think the show had like two or three hiatuses to get one season out. What problems were they having? Uh, I know they were having some legal issues and some issues with Cartoon Network being absolute douchebags. But finally we have the full first season and I will say right now, thank you. And another good thing, season Two starts next week. So, they did not, they're not letting us hang on in uh, two seconds. I got to go on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but finally, we finally have the full season review. Now, if you're like me and you do reviews of Young Justice, I was planning on doing episodic reviews, but I can't do them worth a shit. There are too many of them out there. So, I'm going to do a season review. A full review of the first season where I'm going to talk about the stuff that I liked, the stuff I didn't like, and stuff that I'd like to see in future episodes. Uh, and future seasons, of course. And, uh, so, let's get started with, uh, I want the first thing that has to be done right in any TV series or TV show, the pilot. Now, the pilot episode of Young Justice did air before 2011, it aired in about 2010, I think. It's part of a DC Nation thing. And, uh... I liked it. I enjoyed the first episode and the, f the first two episodes, I think it was, that showed. And they were really, really well done. Not only did they introduce the characters that were going to be majorly part of the season, but they also gave a good few of them a good backstory. Explained it for those that weren't familiar with the DC Universe, but at the same time for those who were familiar with it. Um, so we'll give a quick rundown of who is in the show, who are the team members on the show. Um, there, are, there is Aqualad, uh, Kid Flash, Ma Miss Martian, Superboy... Artemis and Robin. Did I say Robin? I think I forgot Robin. And um, those were the six members to start with. Aqualad, Kid Flash, Robin, Superboy, Miss Martian. Oh, five. Okay, I can't count. <laughs> um, but they, they were the first initial members. And then later on in the season, we go introduced to several other two new members. Um, Zatanna and... Rocket, who are the two new members of the team. Rocket didn't come in until the last ep the last two episodes. Zatanna came in but mid-season, mid I remember myself me. But the pilot, let's get picked that, was really well done. It introduced the characters, the, the initial ones that were going to be part of that, and really gave some information on them as well. Like, most people know who Robin is, know who um, Superboy is, but not a lot of people might know, know who Kid Flash is, or Aqualad, or Miss Martian. A lot of them might not know that. And it was really well done the way they'd done it. Miss Martian then Miss Martian just showed up at the end of the first the end of the first two episodes. It was in the next episode where they get go her character down a little bit. And firstly, I'll say that I thought the pilot was really well done. One of the best pilots I've seen for an animated TV series in years. A lot of people a lot of series don't get a good first pilot and a lot of them either do really well or suck really bad. And this one was a really good pilot. So it was a good start to the season and absolutely well done. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about? <laughs> um, now, I'm not going to go into extended reviews of all the episodes, because that, that this would be a long-ass video if I was going to do that. Um, but I'll just give a quick rundown. A lot of the episodes were really well done. And I'm going to talk about the overall plot of the season in one or two subplots. Um, the overall plot of the season was basically that the team of Young Justice... Uh, were basically just sent out on missions by Batman to various places around the world, mainly covert missions that normally end up in them not being not so covert and a lot of stuff blowing up. Now that sounds like a bit, that sounds like an average D DC show. <laughs> um, but the overall plot was that there was this group that called themselves the Light, and these the Light consider, consists of some of the biggest. DC villains that there are from Vandal Savage going to the Joker as well. Um, I'll get to the Joker in a minute because I have a lot of something to say about that. And the 
normally each episode get, had something to do with the light. Each episode had something to do with the overall plot. Um, the, uh, whether it was uh, the light getting something, or the light fucking with the team, or things like that. And it did come to an overall good conclusion. By the way, I say conclusion lightly because it didn't really end. It was just like the bad guy just went, huh. Yeah, well, well that's fucked up. It's not going to stop our plan. Let's fuck off. <laughs> and they still haven't revealed a lot about the light. All we know is that they're, they consist of uh, villains from various DC heroes. Um, some, ba some of Batman, some of uh, Wonder Woman, some of Batman, some of all the Flashes, all over the place. And yeah, we still have no idea what the fuck they're up to. Um, there are subtle hints there that did pick up, spoiler alert, um, such as like apocalypse and weapons, some apocalypse villains, and of course the boom tunnels. Um, that all indicating to the light is basically under the control of apocalypse or dark side if you prefer. And uh, so we're going to have dark side in this season in one way or another, or it could be the new gods, we don't know yet. Hmm. Um, <laughs> but there was a really good build up, they didn't reveal, like, each episode can stand on its own, but also each episode added to the overall plot, so it was really, really well done writing. No matter what the episode was, it had its own story in the episode, but it also had something significant to do with the overall plot. There were one or two episodes that did feel kind of filler-ish. Um, more so Wally's episode near the end of the season did feel kind of filler to me. Um, but it still gave a little bit more hint to the overall plot of the season. And I thought it was brilliantly done. The writing is well, well done. I absolutely loved that each character had their each character had their good scenes. Each character got the right amount of scenes for them, each one had an action scene, and each one had an episode dedicated to them. Early on, the first one was Aqualad, then we got a Robin episode, a Miss Martian episode, a Superboy episode, a Kid Flash episode, and we got one or two Artemis episodes, um, who was later introduced in the season, I think it was uh, episode 4 or 5 of maybe 7, I could be wrong in that part, uh, but I think it was really well done, each, ep each episode did play to the overall plot, but also had it could stand on its own as well, especially the character episodes. The character episodes were some of the best episodes in the season. And my personal favourite, I'm going to have to go with Superboys and Robins. Those two ones were excellently done. Robins was slightly better though, I will say that right now. I absolutely loved that one and I did get a little teary eyed at one or two scenes in that. Because it was a really heartfelt scene. A lot of us grew up with um, the Batman animated series, it was nice to see that they did respect that as well with the Robin they were using. Still a little nitpicky on that, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, each episode was really well done, the plot was really good, but all that. There were some subplots as well, uh, two subplots in particular. Well, one subplot's kind of a combination of the whole team, but one subplot which was played throughout the entire season, near enough, was the idea that there was a mole on the team. Now there were hints and clues everywhere to who the mole really was. And I will say that right now, I did not see who the mole was coming at the end. Um, it was turned out it was actually Red Arrow, Robin, Red, sorry, Robin, Red Arrow, Roy Harper, who throughout the season has been declared basically a hero. He uh, stands for justice, uh, it is, turns out he was actually a clone of the real Speedy, and then uh, it's kind of confusing after that. <laughs> uh, but. I did not see that coming until the end. Probably if you looked at all of the clues throughout the season and you analysed them, you probably would have been able to figure it out. But I did not see that coming until the end, and it was really well done, because a lot of the clues to who the mole was was leading to Artemis, Superboy, or Miss Martian, each one having something to hide, which was really good. 